Cystic fibrosis is a disease passed down through families that causes thick, sticky mucus to build up in the lungs, digestive tract, and other areas of the body. It is one of the most common chronic lung diseases in children and young adults. It is a life-threatening disorder. Cystic fibrosis symptoms. Symptoms in newborns may include delayed growth, failure to gain weight normally during childhood, no bowel movements in first 24 to 48 hours of life, salty tasting skin. Symptoms related to bowel function may include belly pain from severe constipation, increased gas, bloating, or a belly that appears swollen, distended, nausea and loss of appetite, stools that are pale or clay-colored, foul-smelling, have mucus, or that float, weight loss. Symptoms related to the lungs and sinuses may include coughing or increased mucus in the sinuses or lungs, fatigue, nasal congestion caused by nasal polyps, recurrent episodes of pneumonia. Symptoms in someone with cystic fibrosis include fever, increased coughing, increased shortness of breath, loss of appetite, more sputum, sinus pain or pressure caused by infection or polyps, symptoms that may be noticed later in life, infertility, in men, repeated inflammation of the pancreas, pancreatitis, respiratory symptoms, cystic fibrosis treatment, an early diagnosis of CF and a comprehensive treatment plan can improve both survival and quality of life. Follow up and monitoring are very important. If possible, patients should be cared for at cystic fibrosis specialty clinics, which can be found in many communities. When children reach adulthood, they should transfer to a cystic fibrosis specialty center for adults. Treatment for lung problems includes antibiotics to prevent and treat lung and sinus infections. They may be taken by mouth or given in the veins or by breathing treatments. People with cystic fibrosis may take antibiotics only when needed or all the time. Doses are usually higher than normal. Inhaled medicines to help open the airways. DNA enzyme therapy to thin mucus and make it easier to cough up. High concentration of salt solutions. Hypertonic saline. Flu vaccine and pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccine. PPV. Yearly. Ask your health care provider. Lung transplant is an option in some cases. Oxygen therapy may be needed as lung disease gets worse. Lung problems are also treated with OB exercise or other therapies to thin the mucus and make it easier to cough up out of the lungs. These include a percussion vest, manual chest percussion, a capella, or therapeutic device. Treatment for bowel and nutritional problems may include a special diet high in protein and calories for older children and adults, pancreatic enzymes to help absorb fats and protein, vitamin supplements, especially vitamins A, D, E, and K. Your doctor can suggest other treatments if you have very hard stools. Care and monitoring at home should include Avoiding smoke, dust, dirt, fumes, household chemicals, fireplace smoke, and mold or mildew. Clearing or bringing up mucus or secretions from the airways. This must be done one to four times each day. Patients, families, and caregivers must learn about doing chest percussion and postural drainage to help keep the airways clear. Drinking plenty of fluids. This is particularly true for infants, children, in hot weather, when there is diarrhea or loose stools, or during extra physical activity. Exercising two or three times each week. Swimming, jogging, and cycling are good options. Cystic fibrosis is a common disease, yet every individual needs unique treatment and care. We encourage people with cystic fibrosis and their families to learn as much as possible about the latest medical treatment and approaches as well as healthy lifestyle choices. For more information about cystic fibrosis and how to treat cystic fibrosis, just click on the link at description or visit www.mainmd.com. Thank you.